Casual dresser here. I'm making a video on an evening after work. I normally sit down, have a beer, relax. Um, but I'm not tonight because I really want to show you two of the best smocks I have ever had in hand. Um, now, hopefully, you sat through one minute 45 ish of Liam Gallagher wearing Stone Island. What a treat. Um, so, Liam Gallagher, as we know, loves to wear Stone Island. Um, but he mainly likes to wear smocks, um, which this is, and I love a smock too. Uh, he also loves to wear ghost items, so a ghost item is where the badge matches the colour of the item. And he also likes to wear shadow project items. Uh, and if we are led to believe um, the truth, then this is the last year that Stone Island will be producing shadow project, which is a huge shame because I feel... Uh, that it's one of the best looks that Stone Island are making. But yes, that's for another video completely. So, you've seen him wearing the stuff. What he likes to do is get normal jackets um, and remove the normal badge and bang a shadow project or a ghost badge on it. Um, so, if you have this picture, for example, where he's wearing uh, a yellow micro reps, and he takes off the normal badge and he puts on a black shadow badge and all of a sudden it looks absolutely brilliant. I like to do that, but normally I like to wear a shadow badge on a dark uh, item of clothing. Purely because if you're going out sometimes and you've got a Stone Island badge on and you're in a group of friends, um, there's a big possibility you're either going to be refused entry to the club or they're going to ask you to take the badge off. So if you're wearing Shadow Project, it's a little bit more stealth and you've got more chance of getting in. Anyway, I'm going off the point here. So... Um, smocks. So Liam loves to wear a smock and I know I'm going to get absolutely rinsed on the media for saying this because people hate it when you list it, but this is the Gallagher smock. Um, and yeah, people hate me saying that because people think that just by saying a Gallagher smock, you're trying to get more money for your item. I think it's absolutely ridiculous because people wear stuff and when you see them wearing it, you want to buy it. And obviously then, as a result, the demand goes up and the price goes up. And actually, there weren't many of these smocks made in the first place. Liam wore it. And yes, the prices went through the roof. But who cares? Because it just makes it even more popular. And I've got a couple of them. So before I show you and talk about the measurements and I give you the art numbers of this very, very, very special smock, have a look at the pictures and I'll see you in a minute.
Okay, so this mock, uh, Stone Island Shadow Poplin uh, Cotton Smock. It's 2017 and here's the art number on screen now. Forget about the RRP, it doesn't really apply to this smock. Prices went through the roof and I don't care if you say I'm taxing because uh, Liam Gallagher wore it. I like Liam Gallagher, um, I like Oasis. But I love this uh, sort of smock and I'll tell you exactly why. So this is a medium um, and it's 25 and a half inch pit to pit. So it fits width ways. It does fit length ways. However, I would like it to be slightly longer. Um, but it does the job and it's so lightweight. So it's really, really simple. When I talked about the Ghost, uh, smock in a previous video i said it's been replicated because it's just so easy to make this hasn't been replicated as far as i'm aware so this is the navy you'll see a picture of liam wearing it now this is the bee's knees to me so it's got really simple navy drawstrings here we've got two pockets and then we've got navy drawstrings around the waist to pull it in which i'll show you on this one in a minute. Uh, really, really simple design. We've got button cuffs and that, ladies and gentlemen, apart from the hood, and you know I like a good hood, that really is it for this smock. Um, I've not seen a lot for sale, so you probably know that I've had a lot of jackets come in and a lot of jackets go out, but this one I've never ever got my hands on. And I did a, a trade, I mentioned it in my last video, I got rid of my Telestella, um, 2012 Telestella, it was the 30th anniversary, I got rid of it and I got this, I got that and I got a, another knitting. So, 25 and a half inch pit to pit as a medium and I'm an XL wearer, so you might get away, away with this or a large. I'm going to bang this one on and I'm going to see you in a minute. Back again with the grey one. So this is an XXL and the pit to pit is a 29 inch. Um, I mean, firstly, in the comments below, bang in which colour you like best. So the grey one, there's a blue one, there's a black one. I think there might be a brown one. Um, bang in which one you like best. I really like this one. One of the reasons I like this one is because the shadow badge just pops off the grey colour. It's harder to see it in the nave, which also I like as well. Um, also, the sizing. What sizing or what fit do you like best? This is 29 and it's a lot more relaxed. Um, and yeah, I wore it the other week out to town. And actually, it's probably a nicer fit than the Navy. Um, exactly the same features, exactly the same art code. But as a 29 inch pit to pit, considering I'm, on, I'm only about a 24, 24 and a half, the other five inches, you can't really tell. It's supposed to be a relaxed fit, and obviously, if you want to pull the waist in, you can do because you've got drawstrings there. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love these smocks, and if you can get your hand on one, get it because what a piece to wear in summer with a pair of shorts, a pair of flip flops, sandals, trainers, beer in the sunshine. Wow. That brings us to the end of my video. I do want to say quickly about sizing. People look too much as the, at the actual size label. I had a guy message the other day about a smock that I'm selling, a lovely green smock, and he asked what size it was, and I said large. He said it was too small for me. The pit to pit on it is 27 and a half inch. That's like an XXXXL as a standard jacket. So do your research. It's why I put the pit to pit measurements in these videos, because if you go and buy an XXL of that, you're going to be looking at wearing an absolute tent. So don't just ask them the size. Ask people the pit to pit if that's what you're wanting to do. Um, I found a lovely jacket tonight, which I'm looking forward to get uh, from overseas. And when that comes, I'll do a little video on it. Um, if you want me to review anything or do a video on a jacket, um, please drop me an email. You know it by now. Or head over to my Instagram. Um, Please make sure you hit the subscribe button and like this video. Loads and loads of you uh, are doing now, which is absolutely brilliant. 
Also, what I want to do is reach out to you and ask if you want me to change the videos anyway, because I keep looking at items at the moment. Um, but as we get into nicer weather and I'm out more, if you want me to do something in particular, um, or go and come and see your collection, um, hopefully I'm going to go and visit someone uh, with a nice CP collection in Barnsley, you know who you are. Um, but if you've got a collection that you want me to come and view, and you're not too far away, because I know Holly's at the end of the line and no one goes there, but if we could meet up uh, and I do a, uh, a video on your collection, that would be absolutely superb. So drop me that in either an Instagram uh, or in an email and I will get back to you. Have a lovely weekend if you're watching this at the weekend. Take care of yourselves. I'm off to rock this one or maybe the Navy. Which one do you think? Take care. Peace.